is there one specific you like? Uh, yeah, I'd love to go and kind of sit under his learning tree and kind of pick his brains a bit. Wow, one specifically. <laughs> Probably the Zerbi yeah, at okay. this moment. He's done a fantastic job yeah, at Brighton, yeah. hasn't he? And, and mainly because he'd be very different to me in terms of like culturally, um, you know, where he grew up and the experience he's had up to now coming to a foreign country, whereas... I'm not, I'm not saying I'm like all the other Premier League managers, by the way, far from it. But when you when they're more British or they've been in Britain for an extended period of time, then they become yeah. more kind of like the norm in this country. And you start to see their trends a lot more. Whereas I think with Deserbi, he's still quite fresh in, although he's been in a year or so. Um, and he's the one that has kind of taken a style and probably taken it up a notch or... Probably unfair to say up a notch from what Graham Potter did because I think they would have been on that trajectory anyway. But he's changed something in there that's just given them something a little bit different. I Alongside imagine. City, they've probably got the most ingrained style. In ter- and when I say ingrained, more in terms of all disciplines supporting that style of play. So even their data modelling, which they started when they were in the Football League all the way through, they've got a real idea of what they're looking for from a data perspective as well as then coaching, sports science and everything else that goes with it. Um, and you can't just turn this on overnight, can no. you? This takes no. a decade. I'd and, and that's the hardest bit. Yeah, that's the hardest bit. Time. People want to do it until they realise a lot of the time what's involved, yeah. and then it's like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll scrap that now at the first hurdle. Yeah, and you have to go through so many difficulties, and they did. You know, even trying to get into the Premier League, they fell short when they arguably should have got promoted the year before they yeah. did. Yeah. Right. when they were a long way clear at one point, and then fell away and. And, but they've also got a very good CEO there in Paul Barber, um, visionary in terms of approach, understands the game, which I think is really important, but also understands when to step away and allow other people to do their work. Um, and he's been great since, you know, he, and I shout out because since I've been out of like full-time work, he's always been available um, and always given me time. So, you know, I really appreciate that as of other people, but he's always been um, really generous with his time and, and kind of support and, and guidance. So.